Oh. Hi. I didn't know if you were planning on showing up at all. No, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not lonely or anything. It's, uh... It's been great, you know. I feel a lot better after the surgery. No, unfortunately, I'm not done with them. I think I still have two more to go. And then I can go back home. Sleep in my own bed for more than a couple days, you know? I can't wait. You know what I do hate about being stuck in the hospital? Doing schoolwork in this stupid bed. I can barely sit up most days and breathing gets really hard. But having to still submit assignments and complete worksheets. Ugh. It's the worst. Yeah, I know. The principal told me I could take this year off if I wanted, but... <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I didn't get to graduate. You know, like, you and all my other friends would be gone and I'd still have to go in school and be with all the younger kids. It's worth it to just get through this, you know? The surgery? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, it was better than the first two, that's for sure. Like, I was really under, so, like, I didn't feel anything. And, like, my chest hurts a little bit still from the incisions, but it's way better. The pain meds are really kicking in, so... Yeah, they're doing alright these days. I hope it doesn't hurt you to see me like this. I know if it were you and I had seen you collapse at school and was visiting you in the hospital, I don't know if I'd be able to even look you in the eyes. I'd just be so worried. And I hate knowing others are in pain. But I want you to know that I I'm fine, and, like, it's gonna be fine. Seriously. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, can you, uh, pass me the water? Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, I I've been sleeping a lot better now. It was hard when I'd wake up like several times in the night and I couldn't breathe, but now I, uh, maybe only once or twice and it's not nearly as bad, so. Yeah, and having, uh, nurses around all the time, I feel a lot safer. I do worry about my parents, though. I know my mom's just going crazy. She wants to be here every day and look after me and stuff, but she has to work. And then my dad, of course, he visits all the time too, but when he has to drive so far away to work, it's like... I do appreciate that he phone calls a lot, though. And it's really nice that I have people like you who come visit me even though you're not family. Like, a lot of my other friends just kind of, they'll text me or like tag me in, on Instagram posts. It's almost like they're using me for attention, but you've never done anything like that. And I really appreciate it. Like, you see me as just a person even though I'm sick. You come and you see me, and <laughs> you bring flowers and stuff, and my favorite candy, even if I can't eat that much. And we just get to spend time together, like friends do, instead of you acting like I'm this fragile doll who needs to be protected and kept away from the world. Yeah, don't 
worry. No, I'm not that tired. I just, uh, you know. How's school going for you, by the way? I know that there was that physics test recently. I'm at least glad I don't have to do those anymore. <laughs> Not that the assignments are much better, but... Oh well. Mr. Canterbury can be a real hard ass, that's for sure. <laughs> You're excited for graduation? Yeah, me too. Just another few months and we'll be out of here. I don't really know what I'm gonna do next year though, because hopefully I'll be all done with these hospital visits. And that means suddenly I have a whole new life ahead of me. I know you were planning on going to school But I don't know if I want to. I kind of want to take a gap year, you know? Do some traveling if I can. I've been cooped up in, like, the same three rooms for the past ten years. As soon as I'm done with those last surgeries, I want to just get out there. Explore. Meet people. And maybe it's a little bit silly, but I really want to learn some new languages. I know that takes time, so I doubt I'll get fluent in just one year, but it'd be really neat to be able to speak Spanish. Maybe even Japanese or something. Remember when we used to talk about taking a trip to Japan? Going to Kyoto and visiting shrines and stuff? I hope we do get to do that one day. There's no one else I'd want to travel with. My parents are too paranoid that I'll suddenly collapse again. And, well, my other friends are super boring. They don't know anything about the world. But you're just way more fun to be around. I hope that isn't weird. Thanks for visiting again today, by the way. I hope you know I don't expect you to come in every day after school. But it is nice to get to see you so much. Makes me feel a little more like things are normal. It does get kind of lonely when there's no one around. Just me in this room. And I mean, I have all my books and stuff, and I love reading, but after a certain amount of time I just think how nice it would be to talk with friends. I don't really get a lot of opportunity to talk to anyone, and the doctors always tell me I shouldn't be exerting myself too much by talking a lot. But I always have so much to say, and no one to tell it to. Until you come and visit, I mean. So yeah, I appreciate you being here. Ugh, I hope I don't look too gross or anything. I haven't gotten to brush my hair or, you know, clean my face. Stuck in this bed all the time, I feel like I'm a zombie. Can barely move. Slow, shaky, unstable. I must look. Well, don't tell me how I look. <laughs> you don't have to lie. I know I don't look great. I'm all messy and disgusting and just... <laughs> 
Thanks. I do appreciate it, actually. It's nice to hear someone say that when it's not like my mom through tears saying that I'm beautiful. She's only saying that because she's glad I'm still even alive. <laughs> You're glad I'm alive, too? <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't worry about it, though. Honestly, just act as though I'm not even sick, okay? I think that's what would make me feel the best. Just being able to talk to each other like normal friends. So, uh, about school. <laughs> How's it going with the other kids? I know that, uh, Mackenzie was flirting with you the other day. I got a message about it from Courtney. <laughs> you couldn't even tell? Sounds just like you. Well, she is really nice, so... Maybe something will come of it. You don't think so? Well... You don't have to be pessimistic. I think you're a real catch. Well, I mean, yeah, if you aren't uh, into Kenzie, I guess, uh, then you don't have to date her. Uh, anyway, um, is the lunch meat still kind of gross? <laughs> yeah. Weird as it sounds, I kind of miss the cafeteria food. Even though the sandwiches are always soggy. <sighs> and the juice is watered down. What's the <laughs> latest experiment the lunch lady's been doing? A vegetarian casserole. Hmm. I think I'll pass. And, uh, all of those, uh, games that are coming up, football and soccer or whatever. Did we win any of them? The school, I mean. No, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Our teams aren't, uh, super good, but as long as they're having fun, right? Or at least that's what Coach Mabel always says. No, yeah, I won't be allowed to go back and do any sports for a while, but <laughs> believe me, I'm not complaining. I was never big into PE anyway. Even dodgeball was a bit too much for me. But, you know, when it gets warm out, I think it would be nice to play some badminton. I always had fun doing that with you in my mom's backyard. Setting up that little net. And then hitting the birdie into someone else's yard and having to run after it. Yeah, we'll have to do that again. Christmas? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be here for Christmas. D don't worry about it, though. My, my family's coming in. Um, they'll be, uh, sitting around. We'll open gifts together. Yeah, it'll be fine. I spent Christmas like this, I think, three years ago, too, and it was fun. I didn't feel too bad or anything. You know, if, uh, if your Christmas celebrations don't go on too long with your family, maybe you could come in, say hi. Oh, but I hope you don't mind, I, uh, wasn't able to get anything for you. So I don't expect you to have, uh, bought me anything. You, you did get me a present? <laughs> well... I mean, I won't make you go return it. 
but it better not have been anything too expensive. <sighs> the pain meds are kind of wearing off. My chest feels a little bit tight. No, no, stay, please. It'll be fine. I just have to get used to it. Well, yeah, I'm alright. Ugh, oh, but I've told you about how awful the food is here, right? Those little fruit cups and yogurt. And they always have coconut yogurt. I don't like coconut yogurt. It's not that good. And then, of course, the sandwiches. And the bread is so dry. <laughs> I can't wait to go back home and have my mom's cooking again. She does bring me food, though. Even though she's not really supposed to, she'll make something like muffins. Because I love those. Especially with cranberries. Yeah. And uh, the other day she actually brought in little gingerbread men. She decorated them to look like me and her and my dad. She even uh, made a gingerbread cat so that it could look like Momo. She really is doing her best to make sure that uh, I'm still in the holiday spirit, even with all the surgeries and stuff. Uh, and, you know, it does feel like it's going to be a fun winter. Before you know it, I'll be uh, out in the snow with you. You know what would be kind of fun? And I know that <laughs> we might be a little too old for it, but we should go tobogganing. Down the hill by the farmhouse. We could make that run and then wait for it to ice over a few days later and really launch ourselves off of a jump or something. Man, that'll be crazy. I remember when my mom told me I wasn't allowed to do it anymore because she was worried that the, the cold air and everything would set me off. <sighs> but, I don't know. I think it's worth it. My favorite part was always when we were done and our fingers and toes were all cold. And we'd go inside and uh, your mom would make us hot chocolate. And she would put marshmallows and whipped cream, and then she'd stick a little candy cane in the side. That was the best. I don't think it's really winter until I've had my gingerbread cookies, my peppermint hot chocolate, and gotten to go out in the snow with you. So, uh... Do you promise that we'll get a chance to do that this year? Or, well, I guess, <laughs> maybe after New Year's. <laughs> Good. I should, uh, I should probably get some more sleep. But, um, I just wanted to say you know, thanks for being here for me. Really, it, it means the world. And, uh, when the new year comes, I'll have to get you a belated Christmas present and maybe we'll, um, talk about some stuff, you know. But <laughs> I'd feel really weird telling you now, before the surgeries. So, uh, go ahead. 
he can head back home now. And, uh, have a Merry Christmas, okay? <laughs>